Hi, I'm on Lee Chess, trying to get a game. Let's go for a Horde Chess game, five minutes. Big fan of this variant. This is a lot of fun. I wonder if I'll get the Horde, or I'll get the chess pieces. I've played Horde Chess several times. Not lost a game, but I've also not yet played a game where I had the horde. I've always played with the pieces. Alright, finally got a game, and this time I have the horde. Let's see. This should be interesting. My idea here is to... Oh, okay. Is to be more reactionary and just fill in any gaps they try and make. leaving everything protected before finally advancing. So sort of bringing up the rear, these pawns. The problem in horde chess, with the danger, I guess I should say, is having this capture towards the center. I want to get at that king. Is having the opponent find a way to get to the back. So this is a little bit dangerous here. Yes, this is the thing. that I am not going to make it easy for them they want to sacrifice, they have to bring up my reserves. How am I going to get at that king? That's the question. Hmm. Take here, take, take. I don't know if I like that. So let's just defend things right now. Okay, again, I don't see him breaking through here yet. The other thing is that he can try and force me to make a move that will break something up. So he's going to win something here. Take, 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 take. That's painful. Then his queen's actually getting in. So can I switch to an attack against the king? Hmm, maybe not. I can take here, I can play here. Take, take. It's gonna be tough. Try and win the rook. Try and win the bishop. Take, take. Takes with the queen. I should be ready to. Let me play this so I bolster. This square is gonna become weak once this queen tries to invade. So if he chops on this square with the bishop. Oh, interesting. He's coming in this way. Okay, I think it's okay. Now if I play here, he's going to come here and attack me this way. So now this is going to turn into a question of, can he eat up all my pawns before I promote somebody? Hmm. Oh, I might as well have his queen take the bait. And here he takes this one. Is it time to pull the trigger? Here, take, take. Let's try that. Yeah, probably going to lose this game, but... Which way do I want to take? Take this way, I guess. Yeah, probably going to lose this game. Interesting. Takes there. I play here. Let's defend that guy. That buys me a tempo or two. Oh, it might be enough tempos, actually, to win this. Because he has to get the queen back in time. Oh, he does, doesn't he? She, no, now they don't get the queen back in time. Now I actually queen the pawn. Oh, no, I don't. I left that undefended. That was probably the game right there. Let's see. 
I would have needed to play here, but then they would have been able to get the queen there anyway. Ah, uh, good game. Yeah, that's tough. Hmm. Yeah. That was my best hope. Well, without that, game's pretty much decided. Oh, maybe I can gain a little time on the rook. Probably not going to make a difference. Let's see what this does. See if I can do any damage at all against this king. Hmm. Take, 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 take. Knight takes. Yeah. It's not enough. Oh, that's falling anyway. Huh, that's an interesting decision. Try this. Not sure if it will help much. Ah. Oh, that's right. This just drops another pawn. Hmm. Well, this was a disaster. Yeah, once I dropped that pawn there, I knew it was done. Let's see if I can worry him with this pawn. Nope, you really can't. Yeah. This is really. Oh, that was a good game. Let's see. Do they want to rematch? Ouch, that cost a lot of rating points. The horde has been beaten. Let's see if they want a new opponent. <clears throat> Alright, getting ready to play some horde chess. This time I'm facing against the horde, which... I like better. Tend to do better against the horde. Idea being to try and get at. Oh, I don't know how I made that arrow. Uh, try and get at the back. Back row here. Mm. This is a fun variant. Let's see if they allow any openings on either flank. To do what I actually like to try and do is fill in any of the gaps. Let's see if I take here. Takes there. Let's take with the bishop for now. Not sure what he has in mind. Hmm. Alright, I'll drop it back. Hmm. Be some way I can make progress here. Let's open up the rooks first. I know that allows them to capture towards the center, but I'm not too concerned about that. I can I can't really move my pieces anywhere. I can play this. I can't play c6, because then I'm taking b4. Well, he can play c6, but, I mean, won't help him much. This gives a little bit more space for my pieces. Hmm. Try going here as well. I don't like this. I've already given up a lot of my pawn cover. Hmm. Rook sacrifices don't work yet. Looks like the best chance I have of breaking through is battering my way through the center. So let's try swinging a rook over. E7 and then sacrifice on that square. Uh, he's not going to allow that, is he? Doesn't that leave something weak? Is this slightly weak? Not weak enough, right? 
not weak enough. All right. Might as well be able to make better use of this rook. Maybe f6 was better. Oh, interesting. He's playing this very well. It's actually somewhat impressive. Let's try this g6 probably. Hmm. Still think I'm okay. But where do I go? Can I march the king in? Hmm. Probably wouldn't be very helpful. Um, let's try moving the knight here. Potential sacrifices on that square, right? So he plays forward. Stops that. Makes sense. Where do I break through? If I could break through here, that would be good. Let's try bishop b7. He's going to play d3, supporting this point. That's what I would do. <laughs> so far, I think I have everything covered against his pawn advances. Oh, so he doesn't play that. If I play here, he's definitely going to play d3. Because he can't allow me in that way. Now... Do I have a way in? Do I have a different way in? Hmm... Very tricky position. I might need to start to sacrifice things. Very, very tricky position. Playing this more remarkably well. Okay. So, again, try and get in here. He's going to play e4. Hmm. Ah, I think I have an idea. Of course, now he might have a5. But that might not work. I think I can force my way through on this side. Only question is, are my pieces going to survive long enough? The answer may be no. Sack that first. Now, play a knight here. Oh, does he have a5? That, shut down, that shuts down my entire play. Bomber. Or oh, does it? I can sack there. And then he'll play b4. I might have a way in. Let's go for it. I don't have too many other options. I have knight c8. I have king d8. Ways to cover the pawn advance. This bishop is helping me out right now tremendously. But my queen actually has no entry right now. Hmm. So he switches to the other flank. Clever. You can sack here. And sack there and get that pawn. Which win that pawn. Alright, let's try that. I don't have enough time to calculate the consequences of sacking two knights for two pawns. Sounds like a really pathetic exchange.
c7 would be logical. Doesn't play that. All right, of course, I know you can do that. But I get to take it, and you can't defend it. The question is, can I hold you off long enough? Hitting that guy. I have to have a way in. I have an open file. <laughs> What's the delay? lost on time. Hmm. In this position, I wonder who wins. His threat is here, pushing a pawn here, and then here. So he needs two moves to accomplish that, and he'd be pushing there with check, which would be deadly. So I could come back to stop that. Actually, I could play king up to stop that, and then he would need two moves to force that through. So, let's say I play king up, he plays here, I can play... Hmm, I can take, he plays again, threatening this sequence. Yeah, I wouldn't have enough time to take, I guess. Let's switch to the analysis board. See how this could have gone. Here, 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 you can't play that. Now, you can't play here because I'd end up taking. Oh, maybe you can do that. So, I would then need to drop back. Because now, if he takes, I take, and this doesn't work, otherwise, it would. So, how does he reinforce that idea? He doesn't. So now he'd have to start playing on this wing. Now can my pieces do anything else? Hmm, that's the question. But here, here. Sort of walked into a tricky situation with my king. If I move my rook out of the way. Well, that's the thing. I can use my queen to hold up the advance. And he can't play this. It doesn't even help him at all. So let's say he continues to push. Now I'll switch the rook over. And I don't think he can do anything in time. Move over. Oh. So I would take there. Hmm. So he continues to push. Pushes. He's threatening to queen. It's two different pawns. So I'd have to come here. Now his main threat actually carries some weight. Because he would queen and I would lose. So, I wouldn't be able to take that one. Ah, so he would be just in time. Wouldn't be able to play something like this. I need a way of getting the rook back in time. Yeah, wow, very interesting. Okay, can't sit here and analyze this all night.